So here we are for the Boxing Barnet Barber, Lewis Huxley. I'm straight in there. You've just got straight out the ring, and I've dived on you. Your nose is still bleeding. You're tasting blood tonight. How was that for you? It tastes lovely, mate. I love it. <laughs> tastes like Guinness. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good fight, mate. Enjoyed it. Uh, he's long, he's like rangy, he's an awkward guy, but just tried to stay sharp, but I still felt really fucking amateurish in there, but look, got the win, that's all that matters. Listen, I thought you caught him well with some uppercuts and moved him around a little bit and made him, made him step it up at times. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to think so. He definitely caught me with a like, lovely clean shot. I don't know if you can tell, but my nose is bleeding. He caught it clean, lovely. I walked straight into it as well. I thought a couple of times you got the jab going, but then you realised you turned it into a left hook and wobbled him a bit, and that was going to be your punch. Yeah, that was it. Like, I did find the jab a couple of times, and I'm quite long. I should stay behind the jab, but I just like getting close. And as soon as I got close, he didn't really want it. I touched his body, gave him a couple uppercuts. Might have been like a hook on it, but I didn't think I caught him that clean, but he seemed to wobble a little bit, so... Then ended up just putting probably too much energy into trying to stop him. Should have just stayed a bit more composed. But I think by doing that, you made him get on the run a little bit. And when he was on the back foot, you chased him down and you made him pay for it. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. But even on the back foot, mate, he caught me with that clean shot. So yeah. I was actually thinking for a second, oh, fucking hell, this might turn the tide. <laughs> Could go the other way. I thought a couple of times his heart had gone out of it. And then he came back with punches, like you said. Yeah, yeah well, I was told before the fight he's real tough. Mm. And that's what I want, mate. I don't want an easy night if we're going to have a fight, so... But yeah, it's good fun. On to the next one. He was breathing bad out the head, uh, out the mouth guard, and then obviously, you know, that's a sign of him perhaps not wanting it a little bit. And you stuck it on him, and then um, he turned his back almost a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He turned to his side, caught a couple of little body shots on him, and then yeah, I would have liked to have knocked him out clean, really. But I think the, I don't know if the ref was a bit early or not, but felt like I could have still given him some more. Please tell me about your journey here to Salisbury tonight to box. What's been going on? So I boxed for. I've been down the club for quite a long time, like I'll, tr I'll box and then I'll stop because I'll get skinny and I don't like how skinny I am, so I go to the gym. Yeah. And I've just done that for years and I was going to box amateur but I wear contacts, couldn't do it and then like white collar come up and basically mate, I got steam in New Year's Eve and I was like, I'm not drinking for a while, I want to get rid of the hangovers. Went down the club and they were like, oh, March the 11th, there's a card. Sign me up, gets me off the booze for, you know, eight weeks, whatever it was. And I think that's it. When you've got something to really aim for and something in the future, yeah. it, it drives you up and it, it, it drives you to challenge yourself to that moment. Yeah. What's for you now after that? Probably a pint, to be honest. <laughs> a pint and then that's it. See how it goes. Yeah. What, what are you weighing? 75. 75. You look really rangy and bang on the weight for that. You look a real nice shape for that weight. I reckon I'd probably go lower, to be honest. If you could cut, like, if I could cut water, I'd probably go to 72. Yeah. Then I'd be fucking massive. <laughs> you look like you do a bit of few weights and cardio, yeah, and you mix it up a little bit. Yeah, I try to keep fit, mate. Yeah. Do what I can. Yeah. How old are you now? 31. Yeah. So there's all, there's all, I'm 54 and I'm still doing it. No, there's going to be young lads now that want to challenge you. Yeah. And, you know, when they're like 20, 25, they're as keen as mustard. Yeah. And you've really got to dig deep and get yourself into a war and get yourself in and out of there. Yeah, but I quite like doing that. So yeah. if they want to jump in, then fair yeah. enough. Yeah, no, I could see you like to scrap and you like to in tight a few times. and it's but, all the time, you know. I'm so long and rangy. I could stay long yeah. and box on, but... I just like closing the gap and having a scrap, to be honest. As a spectator, it was a great fight. Oh, that's all right, then. As long as the crowd's yeah. happy, I'm happy. Yeah. Hey, well done tonight. Thanks for talking to me. Appreciate and, it. you know, like and subscribe to the Boxing Barnet Barber. Yeah. And, uh, you know, keep punching. Cheers. All the best Thanks, to you, lads. Good Cheers. Luck.